Are we there yet? Hey, finally up, are you? We're not there yet, but we got a beautiful view on the left-hand side of the vehicle. We're right along the crater, just doing a sensor sweep before we keep moving on. Oh, cool. Okay, heading up to the bridge. Beautiful view, though. Minus the clouds and wind. Ooh, do you want to pull closer? I was thinking about it, but I didn't want you to wake up and die. Uh, you know, well, us falling over that's and all. That's true. <laughs> and can we clear these rocks? I think we'll be able to get past them. I mean, we might as well, well look at it. Yep. A little bit of bump there, and a little bit of bump there, and a little bit of bump there. Damn. This thing takes it pretty good, though. Yep. And we should clear that back wheel. There we go. Wow, look at that. Man, Woo! Look how big that is. That's scary. Man, how the hell would you get down? I wouldn't take this vehicle down there. Unless it's a, I'm stopping right yeah. here. Unless it's a good... I mean, I don't see any place you could really get this down. Although it's huge. Oh, wait. It's kind of a groove right there. Nah, we can't go down. We don't have time. <laughs> That's yep. pretty cool. Good to look at. You want me to take over driving? If I can get out. Sure. Oh, I got my legs stuck there for a second. What was that? Uh... Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. You all right? Thank you, sir. My leg was asleep. Man, dude. You getting old? Something's going yeah, on. Yeah, get away from that window. All right. I'm getting my balance back right now. Woo. Wow. That was... All right. Thank you. Holy I'm going to go dude. get a uh, quick, quick medical check here. Yeah. Get our tricorder out while you uh, secure the bridge. Um, all right. Should I should I hold off on moving? Uh, no, you're good to go. Okay. I'm all right. Let's see here. Yep. All good. It's going to be my 10-point turn. Yeah, I should be able to cut it right here. A little bit of bump on the right there. Well, actually, let me just back up a little bit again. Now, the main map doesn't show us anymore because we're out of range from uh, the receivers, transmitters. Yep. Yeah, I'm running a diagnostic now. We are picking up signals from the, um, the rovers and the... Um probes down in the crater but obviously they're not linked to nah. any of our other systems but they are still transmitting data wind shear down there is over 80 miles an hour wow. according to the one of these probes yeah the uh, probe certainty is picking up wind shears over 80 miles per hour that's insane so we need to go more left if i remember correctly weren't they like directly east of the crater yeah okay then I'll, yeah i'll just head in that general direction so you're on the far i'm sure you know this already well maybe not maybe you haven't checked the map since you woke up but yeah. we're directly the first further southern point of the crater right now we are due south of it so yeah i got it on my screen right now cool all right, all of our systems are checking out back here. No problems. I'm going to do a suit check while you're doing that. Make sure our suits are all right. I'll seal the bridge just in case something happens. Like I fall on my face again. Yeah, that was crazy, man. I think my foot was just asleep from all that time driving. Note to NASA, we need more comfortable seats in this thing. Yeah, well, at least you didn't croak. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Are they as far from the other side as we were from the one side? Holy mackerel. 
According to the map, yes. Okay, so I see some rock patches right here. This is what we gotta put the rock on. The rock drill. Yeah, that's what we're looking cool. for right there. But we got a while before we even get to that. Yep. All right, all six rear oxygen canisters have been rebooted and are showing fine and functional. Okay. They're all still fully charged, no loss. Externals being pulled first, checking suits now. Roger, Dodger. All right, your suit's looking good, fully charged. No errors on the leak check. So, computer's good, everything's fine. I'll switch up to the prototype suit now. Copy that. Everything works out. Then we gotta head all the way back <clears throat> and set up a base at our drop. Yeah, I mean, based upon the scientific missions they were talking about, once we make sure everything's fine with Ares 9, we'll still have science stuff, but it's on the other side of the crater, so we can't even share the base. But yeah, that's all right. We'll make visits every week. Maybe we'll fly. Print up some kind there of flying two man vehicle. All right, your suit's good, no concerns there. I'm coming back into the main cabin to check out the spare suit. It isn't charged, but we'll at least be able to make sure it has a no problems with leaks. Is there a radio in this thing? Probably not. <laughs> Martian News Live. Switch it to the cameras. All right, your suit's good. Coming back up to the bridge. And I will power up the crane and make sure no problems with the crane. Transportation is one of the boringest things up here. Or is it most boring? Boringest? I don't know if that's a word. I'll vote for most boring. And we can't afford to go faster. We don't have enough spare fuel. Yeah. It's faster than walking pace. Exactly. Just think, in 100 years, there'll be trees growing here. Terraforma. And didn't they? All right. What? Go ahead. Oh, what no, I was just thinking that. I remember reading something where they were saying um, uh, placing a uh, probe on one of the ice caps that would bore down, and it would be, um, um, you know, like, uh, oh, I don't know. They were going to heat the ice to release all the carbon mm -hmm. dioxide? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember hearing that. Kind of like a meltdown yep. at a um, 
nuclear plant, but not a meltdown, but uh, overheating or lower yeah. lower the rods down in there. That would be interesting. Yeah, purposeful chain reaction to get, you know, a really good output, basically. I mean, they would All right, cranes 100% good, no issues, booting up, did a quick little test with it, so shutting it back down. I mean, there is an atmosphere, so theoretically, mm -hmm. releasing all the pressure from the ice would be held in the bubble of the atmosphere. Would you have to release yeah. it all at once or a little at a time? That way it has... I don't even know. Well, I think to try to release it all at once, you'd have so many thermal nuclear reactions, it probably wouldn't even be worth the damage. So I think it's got to be just that slow ramp up process in my mind. But I'm no expert. What do I know? Yeah, me neither. Uh, it's a shame NASA didn't give us a spare antenna already made because this would have been probably a good spot to plop one down. True. And try to just get a signal and pick up how far we are because we're not picking up their antenna yet. And that means they're not looping back to the range. So if their antenna is functional, they might be on their backup antenna, their main range antenna. We should be picking it up by now, and we're not. So they might be on their backup antenna. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I do see. Or they don't have power. The specs in the big crater when I go to the um, yep. main map, but. Those are the short range ones. So I'm thinking they don't have them. I don't, I don't think Aries 9 has their big antenna up. I know I'm speculating, but at this point, we should be, we picking, should up be picking up a signal. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I got to believe either their antenna's down or they're on backup comms, which might be why they weren't able to hear us so far. Because we're broadcasting on their frequency. I tied it all in. So they should be hearing us, but they don't, and they're not responding. And no antenna signal. I think they're on backups, which means we got to get closer. Yeah. So are we thinking, I'm looking at my, I don't know if you can see my display here. Um, yep, Roger that, looking now. How many grids do you think they're out? Like three grids? Not including uh, the grid and it, that's hitting the crater. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I'd say, based on comparing it from the paper map that we had looked at earlier, um, hold on, I'm just cross-referencing off of my heads-up display on my wrist. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, two to three from where you are now. The problem is we might have to search for if we don't pick up their sort range soon. Yeah. Because we needed that as our homing beacon. So basically we know it's east of center. <laughs> Of the crater. South, a little bit southeast, but yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So you're not in a bad path based upon, you know, where you're at. If anything, I would almost argue, make sure you shift a little bit more easterly. Not by much. Well, we I'm, just don't want oh, to go I too far saying. north. Yeah. Right, but, but we were just I looking will. for the signal to be picked up. We just want to pick up the signal. That's all we're trying to do here. We don't have to be right on it. We just got to be close enough. Hopefully their backup antenna is kicked on. If it's not, then we are going to have a problem. Yeah, I don't want to have to rely on the naked eye. Yep. Especially with this dust storm. Yeah, what's up with that? Jeez, that was supposed to be clear. Has it been clear at all since we've been here? I don't think so. We've got little ups no. and downs, but... It was actually worse when you were sleeping. Hmm. I was getting quite a bit of push to the side of the vehicle. I think I probably even burned a little bit more fuel than planned just because I was fighting it the whole way. I think it was as we got closer to the crater, since you know, we had those big strong wind gusts down in the actual crater itself, I think as you and I were getting closer to it. Well, I should be getting a, a push now. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-three methane, seventy-six percent oxygen. And we're still going under nine kilometers, even with the tail wind. If we 
don't start getting a signal soon, we might have to start consider veering a little bit more south. South? Well, right now, if they were a direct line of sight from us southeast of where we were put down at. Well, I'm heading directly east now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If we don't, if we don't pick them up, we might have to go down south one grid and then really? come back up the other side. Because I, Cause I shouldn't thought we be picking north. them up by now? I don't know, but I thought they were north of us. Hmm. On the, uh, you know, I thought they were in the north grid. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Or well, it could be in this grid. It could be right on the line. But I don't know about south. Maybe if, if you think so. But I thought it was straight southeast of our base through the crater so if you drew well hold on hold on i think i'm picking up a signal hold what? on really yep i'm picking up a signal it's we're getting a weak return ping so we are getting closer oh. we're getting a weak return ping so oh, okay. hold this course for now all right i'm still grazing slightly north so i will try to bring i would say go straight east okay I'm until trying. we get a more a solid return say, ping. But... all right i'll watch on the heads up here yeah, you're good. Keep this path right okay. now. Yeah, we're getting a we're getting a return ping. We not just right gotta on. get a little bit stronger it's showing, signal. It's not showing on my map. I don't think it would here though. It just shows where I'm at. Okay, I got it. What? I picked it up. Really? Due southeast of here. What? Oh, okay. Straight southeast of where we are. All right. Hey, wait. That's a very very faint signal. Am like I we're seeing just picking something up. over there? You, but it's gonna be flashing. There it is. Heavy return on the antenna. I don't. On my suit. Okay, I'm seeing something. Oh, wow. Okay. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. What am I seeing? If right you uh, if, if you want to take a pause and take a look at your uh, display on your wrist to make sure you're seeing the same thing, Well, I'm just. you might want to bring up your display on your wrist instead of the overhead console and make sure you're seeing the well, same thing. I'm seeing something with my naked freaking eye right now. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, are you looking out the oh. window? No, no, I'm looking at my heads-up well, display on my suit. look out the window. Roger that. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's something right I see there. A I see the landing capsule on the right, all the way to the right. I see looks supposed to be a structure. Man, you can make that out. I general see, shape of it. Yeah, I see it's more square than rocky. And it's some kind of structure in the middle with. I see the antennae. forklift. I see a wow. yeah, I see a forklift. You can pick out the forklift. Forklift well, more to our right, there, buddy. For some reason I can't see a forklift. The signal is getting stronger, so we have a confirmed right. lock. So you, you need to go a little bit more. And I know you're avoiding rocks. No, so that's no, fine. I'm but looking right at it. A little bit more to your. Um, there's more structures you're not seeing with the naked eye more to the right of us so at some point you are going to veer a little bit more south whenever you can yeah, i think i'm pretty heading right for their it. base is their base is pretty spread out right now i'm picking up their cargo truck it's antennas rebroadcasting oh, i'm picking up their HUD. explorer vehicle so you're not seeing it yeah, with I, naked I, eye. oh okay i was gonna say how are you seeing the damn <laughs> picking out the no, I, I saw the forklift with the naked eye really and a buggy with the naked eye but the other stuff i'm now picking up on the um uh oh, hold on. We might have a problem. Um, we're picking up, not with the naked eye, sensors only, at least one emergency pop tent deployed with a built in radio buoy. So they deployed their pop tent. That might mean they, had, they may have had a problem with their habitat. Well, I'm making out the structure for sure. Okay, I, I see the lander off to the left and beyond. Yep. Everything else is to the south of the lander. Yeah, I'm heading right All their the main structures. Yeah, I have a confirmed live connected emergency pop tent transmitting through the re through the rebeacon and the radio. So but nobody's, they've got at least uh, one pop tent. Yeah, no, replying. they can hear us right now. Yeah, if they're listening, they'll hear us right now. Aries 9, this is Aries 10. Over. Hmm. Yeah, we're in range. They're not replying. Mm. That could be the receiver. So, man, basically, we almost saw them at the same time with the naked eyes we did on your, uh, on the scan. 
Yep. Okay, I'm going to go to the left of this rock and swing around. The Which side. backs up, by the way. They're using a small antenna, their backup antenna, because their main one, we would have picked it up way before now. Okay, I'm going to go left of this rock, this boulder here, and then swing around the other side of the building. Roger I that. do not see any uh, anything moving around over there. So fuel at 5974. Since we have a signal as you get closer, let's do a log upload whenever you're ready. No rush as we get closer just to make sure NASA gets our communication logs. Well, let me do that right now. We can send a snapshot. Roger that. I'm here. Okay, it's sent. Roger that. I'll double check and make sure it's going through. Get over to my console real quick here. Yep, all good. Valid Signal sent. All right, I'm moving out. Roger that. Okay, wait a minute. maybe I should go right, right here, so I can go between these two buildings. I re well, should I swing around or go, try to go through? I should probably go around. I yeah, see. maybe do a survey of everything first. Yeah. Make sure we don't hit any of their equipment or anything. But I've got visual on everything, obviously, now. Yeah. Do I see damage to that building there? Or is that, is that the garage? I can't really... What am I looking at? Oh, I see what I'm... Okay, I get, I'm getting how they, they're laid out now. All right, let me upload my log data. Let me know when you're ready. I'll have to have you validate my logs for me. Coming to a stop. Okay. Okay, your file has been validated. Roger that, thank you. All right, I'm gonna pull a little closer here. I'm still not saying, you think, is there a horn on this thing? No. <laughs> they wouldn't hear it even if there was, oh, that's would they? True. I don't know, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. There'd be a little bit. I'm not, okay, there's that tent you talked about. Off on the right there. Dude, what? I'm seeing a body. I got a body to the right beyond the tent. Oh, shit. All right, we need to suit up and get out there ASAP. If they still have oxygen Whoa, in that suit, they dude. might be alive. We have an airlock blown out over here on the left. I see it. Possibly to the right. All right, I'm going to pull up right here look at, and stop. Look at the hab on the right. Look at the roof. Look at the roof line. Yep. Um, okay, I'm out of my seat. All right. Okay, yeah, worst case scenario. Damn it. Don't forget your gear. You need to grab your gear. What gear is that? Your, pa your patch kit. Oh, yeah. Emergency air, repair tool, food, water, vitamins. That's right. We might be out there for a minute. I thought it was still in my uh, suit for some reason. Damn it. I don't have a patch kit over here. All right. We've got an, we've got extras in the cabinet above the desk, the, uh, the tabletop area. Okay. Repair kit. I don't think I'll need an extra oxygen. But Roger I'll, that, I agree. I'll take a, a water. And I think you said it was a snack up on top. Yep. Okay, that's probably good. I'm getting my suit on. Roger that. As soon as you're ready, I'll come in behind you and get mine on. Okay, and then before we exit, I'm going to put up the spare suit so it charges as well in case one of us has a problem or they need it. Maybe we can find somebody that um, is okay but needs a suit. Let me know when you're ready. 
pressurizing my suit now, and I'm going to go grab the spare one real quick and mount it up. Oh, you mean on the charger? Okay. Yeah. That way, in case one of us has a problem, we can run in here. Should we bring out the fuel canister, the spare fuel canister, and plop it in while we're out there? I'm just thinking yeah, ahead yeah. so we don't have yeah. to keep bring... pressurizing the yeah, airlock. I'll carry one, you carry one. All right. I'll, all right, I'll put, put it in there. Oh, shit, that's right. The suit's in the cabinet. All right, so I'll mount this over here yeah, for right to, now. I'm trying to grab it without... Almost had it. Got it. All right, so we're going to put this over here. We're going to put this over here. All right, cycling we'll airlock. Uh, I'm not in yet. Oh, well, sorry. Wait a minute, do you have... The, did you... What did you do with that oxygen? Oh, I, I, put I, it see it. I see it. I see it. Under where your suit rack yeah. was. All right. Um, got repair tool on me. Okay. I'm coming into the airlock now. Clear. Um, why am I getting a life signs in danger warning? My heads up display just told me in the bottom right hand corner, bottom left hand corner, life signs in danger. Oh man, their suits might be broadcasting. Unless it's you. Is it me? Let me do let me do a leak check on your suit before we do anything. But my heads up anything. display, this is the Europia suit, so we don't know if there's an issue with it, remember? Yeah. But I'm getting a life signs in danger alert. Still? I'm gonna do a quick Yep. Alright, you are good. And I am good. Therefore we must be picking up telemetry from their suits. Oh, okay, because uh, I'm not picking up Jack. You ready? Cycling. Cycle. Yeah, I didn't get anything like that. But that suit might have... Uh... I've never actually seen this error before. Like, this is a real thing I'm looking at well, here. We can leave this, and we're not shutting the ramp, so we can leave these... Um, the methane. Roger thing. that. Extending ramp. And spare suit is mounted and charging. You want to do a quick log update before we head out? Didn't we just do that? Sure. Absolutely. I'm just asking just in case you want to do it again. All right. Let's do it again. I'll wait until the ramp's all the way down. Roger that. Okay. Sent. All right. Checking my display now. Halfway done. Good to go. Okay, do. Some things you just gotta do. All right, let's check that body. I wish this suit gave me a beacon where the life signs and danger warnings come from. It's just a display. It doesn't tell me where to go. Yeah, I, I'm gonna guess there's nobody here, but I'll check in that building here in a minute. I'm going to scope out the pop tent while I'm right here. Go look inside the window and just see. Um, I can confirm the pop tent does not have an oxygen container mounted. It's running on solar power and it is empty. Uh, yeah. So nobody is in the pop tent. He's down. Uh oh. Yeah. There's no readings on his suit. Um, if I'm going to do a quick tricorder read on him. Okay. In. Uh... If you want to drag him into that tent, that might be an option. Roger that. I'm going in this first building here. Uh, yeah. Can you drag him? I can. I just finished the scan. It's not good. Yeah, I didn't think it would. This has been a while. This just didn't happen. Uh, we got more bodies. Oh, no. Unsuited. Looks like whatever happened to the airlock happened quick. Yeah, the, I'm not, I don't even need to check this guy. He's not in the suit. He's been exposed for quite a while. But we've got two more in the what looks to be the mess hall. No, just one. Oh, wait, is that... Uh, that? My suit just yeah, alerted me that? to a uh, temperature no, spike. It is, too. It is, too. I thought that was a per boot I saw. 
And they the, might be on a hot surface bubble here. My suit's telling me we've got very high temperatures in the area. Just keep an eye on things. Really? Really. Like, it's warning me right now, temperature overheating. The ground's way hot over here. I don't know if that's part of the problem. I'm, I'm picking up 158 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface temperature. Well, I'm getting, is that the same as 14.6 Celsius? I don't even know. No, it's not. Okay, that's what I'm, that's inside my suit then. 14 Celsius is around uh, 50, 60. Yeah, I don't. Doesn't look like I have an external. No, location info is 14.6. Okay, your suit is obviously more sensitive to mine. Either that is malfunctioning. I just want to make sure we're not going to run into the same problems they ran into. There might be maybe some underground phenomenon happening here. Yeah, oh, their, their waste tanks are full. I mean, there's a bunch of full ones. It's almost like they recycler must have been down. We got another body in the uh, in the office here. Yeah, there these no suits. If anybody's if anybody's in um in suits, I can run over and do a scan on them if you want me to. Nobody in this building seems to be in a suit. So All whatever right. happened to their lock happened quick. Um, there is a locked door here. Nobody in it. All right, I'm heading up upstairs. All right. So it, what is it that we're missing two more crew then from my count? There's two uh, more that we should be finding somewhere? Well, these doors are closed up here. Let me start. The, oh, and there's another floor. Just well, I'll just get all these rooms uh, here. Uh, not okay. I'm, seeing, uh, I'm not seeing anybody in the... Uh, oh, I missed that door in the end. Uh, door is locked. I see two bodies on a bed. Those are the other two. Those are the other two then. I don't know what That's they the were doing. That's I think. Yeah, I don't know what they were up to. But anyway, <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah, I, I might scrub that from the video. Look, so that's everybody accounted for? Okay, I'm not going to go up to the third floor. I have to double-check the roster. I don't have it with me, but I think that's everybody okay. if I counted your numbers correctly. I am not going to the third floor then. Um, total... Loss of crew. Um, we'll we have that in the next log upload. What's it? What, what is this? Yeah, short range antenna only. We can't even transmit to NASA right now. Okay, I've got empty crate over here. Um, checking. I'm heading over to the garage. And this has always been exposed. It looks like. They set up their fuel tank underground here. We have a vehicle at... What was that? Something laying next to their vehicle? Oh, it's a broke-ass vehicle. The back wheels are busted. Oh, what a shame. The cargo truck looks to be in good shape. Looks like there might have been an issue with this vehicle. I wonder if that was part of the problem. I don't know. I mean, the two back wheels are... Like twisted, but we do have a uh, look. What looks to be a stack of vehicles. I don't know which ones they are, but they have not been deployed. Roger that. A few, like three or four. Wait a minute, I think we even have the flying vehicle here. Ooh. Okay. And they haven't, unless they took it off. They haven't actually powered up the cargo truck. In other words, it doesn't have any fuel yet. Okay. It's just on battery solar power. Yeah, we have a, a few different vehicles over here, actually. Um, all right. Man, so now, well, we know what they told us to do. If the the, the um, capsule's powered up. I'm picking it up on my suit. I'm going to go run over to the capsule and make sure oh. nobody's hiding out in there. All right, good call. I, didn't I think that is the whole crew, though. I don't think there's anybody else left, but I'm going to double check anyway. All right, well, man... And did you check the greenhouse? Yes. Okay, we're going to have to make a... All right, we're going to have to... <sighs> scavenge. I hate to say it, dude. We're going to have to scavenge. Do we want to get everybody loaded up into that pop tent? There should be enough room. If not, we really? might need to find somewhere else. Do you want to put them in the capsule? I don't want to leave them just exposed to the elements. Well, the ones in the building, 
we could pop. They're somewhat protected, and yeah. I already put the uh, I already put the mission commander who was in the spacesuit in the pop tent, so he's already in there. The capsule is powered up and pressurized from the inside, so someone might be in here. I'm depressurizing okay. and go in now. The airlock's pressurized. That means somebody was in the airlock. Okay, I'm checking the radiation chamber over here. Anti-radiation chamber. The door is missing. Nobody's in it. Yeah, I don't Whatever know. Whatever happened that. was catastrophic. What is that laying out there? I mean, I see I'm some... entering the capsule. Oh, whoa, whoa, here's another body. Oh, you already got this guy who was laying out by the tool chest? Yeah, I already counted him. Oh, okay. Sorry if I wasn't clear on that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. From the ones that you found and from the ones I saw, that gave me the count that we should have, the entire crew's accounted for. Okay, I'm going to bring this guy to the tent. <sighs> Capsules intact, functional, no issues, no one is inside. It must have been remote powered up though, like they wanted to head here as a last ditch effort, but nobody made it. But the, the capsule is fully operational. It has air, has power. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. They just didn't make it. I'm going to throw this other guy in the tent. Roger that. Yeah, if they would have made it here, they'd still be alive. Well, some of them probably would have been. It's not that very big. It can only hold two crew for an extended period of time. Still better than that. Yep. Checking the onboard systems okay. really quick. Onboard computers functional. Just no uplink, which is why NASA's not getting telemetry. All right, I'm coming back out. There's nothing else here to see. Okay, I am going to throw this lab equipment over by the truck. Well, closer anyway. Okay, I'm going to go check in the greenhouse. Bugger. Yeah, it's been like... It's, it's empty. Oh wait, no, we, we have, uh, okay, we got a generator, another toolbox, okay. a lab oh, table, portable. <sighs> so. Do we have any way to get comms back up? Because we need to transmit up to NASA what's happened. And right now we don't have enough power on the antenna. Is there any functional power sources well, still well, not yeah. damaged? Well, there's a generator in here, a reactor. I could bring that we over. Might want to yeah, we might want to consider getting comms powered up first before do we do you, anything else. Let me, uh, do you have, is there any uh, spools of cable around? I have. I didn't notice. I'll check as soon as I get out of here. I'm recycling on the pod right now. All right, exiting the pod. So if we run into any problems, if we can't make it to our truck, we can make it to this pod. Just keep that in mind. Well, the truck... It does have full life support. I'm going to have to drive the truck back, because... We're going to have to... We have to recover everything that we think we might need. But I'll put the antenna over here by the... I don't see any cable. It's a pool of cables. Right? I've, got a, I've got a spool of cable, I think. i got to get closer and make sure. Hold on. I see the shape of a spool. I don't know if there's any cable left. They might have got it blown away. I am at the antenna. Jammed the reactor in the dirt. And I'm not sure, but I think the truck has fuel. When I checked the cargo truck, they did not have canisters loaded on it. Oh, bummer. Okay. 
could have swore there was bummer so how much fuel is going to take how about fuel is there any fuel here i didn't see anything in that container i looked in all right they've got the experimental buggy not the normal buggy they've got the experimental buggy with two oxygen and two methane we can transfer those well before to you the cargo truck well, before you rip those out let me see something about those tires roger that i mean obviously well it's, well we only have two drivers so now nah, don't worry about it. yank them well we might be able to crane this and put this in the back of the cargo truck if we wanted to and bring both back well those back wheels maybe they're maybe they're in uh, repair mode i was going to get in it yeah. and see if i if i start it up do those then yeah see if you can recycle it see if it works okay Cause I find that very odd that those tires are that might be repair mode or some stats oh whoa check that out okay I'm looking at the fuel oh okay battery oxygen and methane okay I, uh, what, that's battery terminal okay thought it was nitrogen for a minute um It started up. Let's see, lights off. Cam view. Okay, I can't figure out how to bring those tires back up. Yeah, I don't think. No, I don't think that's going to work. It's damaged. It's yeah, destroyed. Yeah. All right, let me. Uh, They're actually completely. If, it, if I had a guess from looking at this, this thing was flipped a couple times and it just ended up landing back upright. All right, well, I'm getting out. Let's grab the fuel containers then. Bummer. Yeah, it's completely disintegrated. That's weird. Oh, you got that one? All right. Yeah. See what happens? They were probably partying. All right. Um, once we get one air and one methane in the truck, we can pull it over here. Well, that's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. It's protocol. Recover all usable equipment. But no cables. We can't get the antenna connected, right? I did not see any cable. Nope, I have not only found one empty spool, so I have not either. Hmm. All right, then we have to wait to get back. All right. We have the footage. Yep, our GoPros recorded everything. I, you, one thing I noticed, they didn't have a, uh, a printer anywhere. I guess the question is, is anything missing because it's been damaged? Oh, there it is. There? Maybe this isn't where they set their print site up. Maybe it's off-site. Maybe True. they're closer to the crater, because I think that's what their mission was as well. So maybe the printer site's more closer to the crater. But we obviously know, since everybody's accounted for, nobody's there. There's an RTG. So we've got, they've got the RTG. Oh, you brought the RTG over. We just don't have the spool. Yeah, and there's another lab equipment right there. I'm going to snipe. Just trying not to think about it and doing my job. Yep. And hopefully they would do the same thing. If I were wanting them to do something like that for me, I would just want them to figure out answers. And the best way to do that is doing what we're doing. You know, one cable would have been awesome. We could have dropped that antenna at the crater. 
probably still take it. I would just like to be able to get some feedback from NASA, but yeah, if we can't power it, there's nothing we can do. I'm just shutting this outside ladder just so nobody forgets. Breaking those off sucks. All right. So power source for sure. God, we can't get all this in one. <clears throat> we probably don't need... Yeah, <clears throat> we do need the power source. And possibly the lights. I don't think we need the antenna. Because once we're back over there, we're good. Well, maybe we take as much as we can. Leave the antenna and the RPG. Um, RTG, rather. And then what we do is... We bring back a cable to do the transmission to dump from their computers and then on our last run bring the antenna and the art and the uh, power source with us because we're not going to take everything now anyway we can't there's no room so we're going to have to make at least two trips so maybe leave the antenna for the last trip and then we can drop it off at the crater on the way back after we broadcast and leave the rtg yeah to okay. power it All so right. everything else is fair game to bring with us but the rtg and the antenna then i will bring the truck over don't forget, we got the buggy, too. And the forklift. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not worried about the buggy. We can take um, the non-deployed vehicles, for sure. Yeah. But I'm going to... I don't know why I just deployed the freaking ramp on this thing. Because I'm going to pull over on the other side of the garage. Roger that. Actually, let me go in this way because I'm gonna drive. We have one fuel, one You know what? Actually. They've they've got a forklift. You know, we were talking about setting up our the, the, the new base closer to the crater with the forklift. We'd be able to move our supply drops. You can pull it up better in than there. the crane. Um, but first, let's load. That that'll be the last thing. Yep. Um, what am I looking for here? Oh, here it is. I got another temperature alert. Just FYI. How very odd. This suit is picking something up. I'm just wondering if it's part of the problem. In other words, if it picked up what ended up happening to everybody. <sighs> Such a disaster. Well, we don't have access to the logs. Um, NASA will, though. Right. That's why I want to get comms up for a short time. Okay, I'm pulling around the other side. Roger that. Yeah, the buggy. Definitely uh, more than... Yeah, we'll bring the buggy back. You know what? We could take uh, bring our buggy back. No, because we got to bring, we actually have to bring cable. What we can do is, if we really wanted the little buggy, we can come back, you and I, in just the cargo truck only. Leave our mobile lab back there. Yeah. And then we can then have two of us, so then we can drive another fully functional vehicle back. The problem right now is we have our vehicle here as well. Yeah. So I'll be following you back in this jalopy. Roger that. I bet you I can get all these non-deployables in here. And possibly the forklift. It's a pretty big truck. They were supposed to set up a pretty big base, so it makes sense that they had a big cargo truck. Boy, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be a to lift up that pod, huh? To, and bring their pod back? Because that thing's got a ton of tech in there. Oh, the lander? Yeah. But, you know, our crane can't handle that much weight. That's oh, impossible. No, no, no. Yeah, no way.
Okay, I'm lowering the ramp. Roger that. Oh, if you want to hand one of those up, I guess I could probably lower this thing here. Oops. Can't clear that. It's too heavy. You can just drop it over the wall. Whoa. Oops. Oh, no. Nah, you're going to have to walk it up, it looks like. My problem was is I grabbed it from the wrong side. I should have been on the other side. I thought we had more room. My mistake. Oh, yeah. This thing's a heavy bastard. Whew. Will that lay flat in there? That's what I'm trying to measure now, the width of it. Well, it's going to be close, I'll tell you that much. I'm thinking this one would be the last thing in. Got to get enough height to clear it. There we go. I can hand this one up to you. Roger that. Maybe you have to stand it on its side and lean it against the wall. Yeah, because it's actually just a hair wider than the bed of the truck. But I'll need to put it to where the post goes upward. Ooh, that didn't sound good. I'm thinking like this. It has the smallest footprint. And I don't want to go too far to block the airlock. No, if you can stay behind the hutches or the chucks. I think I think that's good. All right, I'll see if I can grab this one from you. All right, I have it. Okay, I'm gone. All right. So basically, oh wait, you know what? We're going to jam some of these lights in too. Matter of fact, there's a couple not even. Wait a minute, I think these are beacon lights. Okay, wait a minute, I thought I saw. Okay, so we have one, two lights. Then we have these um, flashing lights. Probably with the dust storm, help them see. Yeah. If their antenna was down, they probably needed some way to know how to get back. Yeah, too bad about that buggy. And, and it doesn't mean we got to take these. If we can jam them in there, then fine, no big deal. But Remember, we also could depressurize the mobile lab and fit things in the side doors, just Ooh. as a reminder. Yeah, I, don't, All right. I wouldn't do that. All right, next thing's coming up. Roger that. Got it. Okay. And then possibly... Whoa. Whoa. The wind caught it. Yep. Um, okay, so possibly... Thought it was going to take me with it for a yeah. second there. <sighs> Great one. Should I move something? I can, I can come lift that up out of your way if you're going to jam it in between. I was going to... I'm gonna see if this is flat enough to do what I want okay. to do. Okay. Wait, see. wait. Wedge it. Uh, rotate it towards you once. No, no, no. The other towards you. Nope. Yeah. No. Right, I gotta get it high enough. Okay. Ooh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Danger! Danger! Hmm. Actually, this is gonna work out better anyway, even though that's not what I wanted easy, to do. Easy, easy, well, dude. You might want to step back a bit. You're bashing the other one. You do both of them out now. 
Suits fighting me. Oh sorry. Oh my god. Suits fighting me. Sorry. Okay. Really? Got this one. Roger that. Give me one minute, please. Okay, I got the samples uh, on my way home. All right, coming to grab it now. I'm gonna start grabbing these lights. Bring them over this way. Okay. Because we should be able to stick them down in between those. Definitely gonna need to smooth the rise back with this one for sure. As long as I can get in and out. Uh, at first, I was thinking dropping a few of these on the way. The markers? Yeah. But if I can't get in now, the airlock well. Like grave robin. Yeah, it kind of feels like that a little bit, doesn't it? Yep. But I'm sure they would want us to take and use. So. Oh, well, now we've got to finish their mission and our proverbial new mission. So we're gonna oh, need all this stuff no. to do it. Yeah. Well. Did that thing stay lit when I yanked it out? It did. Hmm. I guess why wouldn't it? Okay, one more long run over here. What time is it anyway? It's uh 1321. Roger that. How's your suit doing on air? I'm still at 85%, but I don't know three hours to the old suits. Yeah, I'm at three hour 13 minute. I'm good. Cool. And I haven't been using my light or anything, so power's good. That's the last thing I had to grab over here. You know what? They may have cargo drops somewhere. They just kind of brought back what they needed, so I, don't, I have no idea what that would be. Yeah, agreed. We're going to have to do a little bit of a uh, transmission with NASA to get their info. And this crate they have here holds a lot of stuff. Was there anything in it? No. It looks like it might hold a suit, two helmets, and a ton of stuff. Yeah, those are probably the supplies they brought back from the supply drop you were it's, just talking about. It's empty, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, we might have to snag that next round. Well, we could fit that into the uh, mobile lab pretty well. Oh, yeah, probably. That's the type of stuff that we could fit in there. 
any of the other lab equipment that they had already set up, we might want to consider putting that in the mobile lab as well. Try to limit this down to two trips and save fuel because if we don't find their fuel supply, we're going off of what we just have. Well, um, you mean like the water cooler? Whatever we think is going to help us do the mission. I mean, Ooh. I know they had a full mobile lab, a full mobile lab set up in one of the buildings, right? I saw it when I went by the window. Yeah, yeah. Um, but dude, that ain't gonna fit inside the the lab truck, no. Yeah, that's a good point. But other stuff, I think we could fit in there if we wanted to. Well, the water cooler would fit in there. Okay. I could lay that on top of Monk. I'll go. I'll go get it. Man, I'm running back and forth like a crazy person. If you want to just make a pile, I'll go get the mobile lab and decompress it and move it closer. If you just want to set up an area for me no, to No, no, don't too. decompress it at all. Oh, you're just going to go through the chamber? Um, yeah, it's just a water cooler. Roger that. The mobile table we can take next time. Um, what was the other thing? The uh, suit uh, container. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can get that later. All right, where are we at? Over here. Where are you at? I'm still trying to organize this on top of the cargo truck a little bit better. I want it wedged, but I want it to be better than what it is now. It's a little bit of a mess right now. Well, could this one go nose down? I'm going to try to get the side panels right up against the side. Then I was going to flip the middle. If you want to try to flip the middle while I'm moving the sides, you can. But I wanted to get the sides a little bit better than where they were. Oh, that just pushed it. And you're moving the... Okay, I'll just jam this one in anywhere. Yeah, well, just when you did that, I think it knocked the one out of my hand. But I got to pick it back up and reposition it. Oh, really? We're trying to get the ones on the sides to be as flush to the side as we can, but then it got knocked forward right now. I don't know if I did it or you did it, whatever. No, I matter. wasn't even near it. All right, I'm going to grab the middle thing. All right. And... Oh, this thing is fighting me. Why won't you move? You know, this one here should be standing up wedged downward. Right, let me move it out of the way. Yeah, you're pull it's stuck together because that one just pulled that one out of my hand. Watch yourself. Probably why the plate was fighting me, but it got ripped right out of my hand, so it might be falling your way. Just be careful. No, it's right there next to you. Leaning up against the truck right here. Do you see it? Uh, yeah, working on that. My heads up display oh, is just giving stuck. me a little bit of lag. There oh, we go. All right, there we go, yeah. So this thing should be like this. Put those sideways and we'll put this down, wedge them outward. All right, I'm going to put the uh -oh, axle on uh -oh. the inside, right? Now you snag the other one. <laughs> uh, oh. There it goes. Yeah, I got knocked out of my hands again. I'll load it up from the side. It'll be easier anyway than being in here. All right, so you want the axle assembly inside or facing outside to the middle? Um, probably would have been better outside, but... All right. Because now it, that's what's blocking this wedge. Yep. And there's some kind of a magnetic thing going on, huh? That's what was fighting. I don't know what was fighting me, but that's what it felt like. Is the cargo bed magnetic? That would explain a lot. Oh, oh, the parts are. Maybe to hold, like, the forklift in place. It's got a magnetic strip in there. But it's fi it was fighting me like crazy. Oh, 
Okay, wait. Like right now, I got the drive shaft on the outside of the fence, <coughs> and it was it would almost hang there. See what I'm saying? That's the problem I had. Which when I moved them into the inside, I flipped them at that point. No, I mean actually on the outside of the fence. Yeah, that's what I meant too. Oh, oh, you tried to hang it there? Yeah. Oh, uh, it won't go on, will it? Huh. I couldn't figure out why. Like I said, I don't know if it's a magnetic thing or what, but it wouldn't sit right. Okay, I, I rotate it sideways so the shaft will lean on the outer fence. Okay. Possibly. Keep the middle clear, and then when you're out of the way, I'm going to put this in the same type of position you have yours. Unless you want to grab it for me, but it doesn't matter. I'll either jump and put it over, or you can grab it for me. Okay, there's nothing in the truck right now. Okay. All right, how does that one look? Because I don't think I can get it better than that. Oh, you got something in your hand, never mind. I see it, um, looks fine. Now we just do the same thing with this one. If we wedge the one that wedge one above them and then wedge it down, it should force those apart. So we could do it like this then. You think so? Versus flat on the bottom, I'm thinking the height will keep them more stable. Oh, as opposed to wedging it down in there? Well, I'm going to wedge it, but I'm going to wedge it like the way I'm holding it versus flipping it to put the bottom at the bottom because then there's less mass up the top. Does that make sense? Because the top hat, the, what's considered the bottom, but the top of how I'm holding it is very solid. It's got that plate. Um, I see the pipes facing downward. All right, let me rotate it again. See if that looks any better. Or how does that look? Well, it's thinner side down, but. All right, I'm going to raise the ramp. Okay, that might work. Did you let it go? I let it go. I want to see what it's going to do first. And we'll put this one in with the ramp up. And you could always jump over the yeah. railing. Okay. Oh, did I hit ramp? I I meant stow. Damn it. Let me know when you think a good time to do a log upload would be, at least to the mobile lab, so we don't lose anything. Okay, raising the ramp. Okay, let me let me do a data dump real quick. Sent. All right, monitoring now. All right, mobile labs receiving it.
and good to go. <laughs> Fell right back out. Climbing up a little bit to see if I can get a better angle to help you at all. Kind of snagged in there, didn't it? It's going to tip one way or the other when we start moving. Well, the tail is actually on the inside and outside of the the ramp. Okay. Okay. So it shouldn't slide backward. Oh, I see. You, you just talk side to side? Yeah. The, from my the, angle up here, it looks where, like it's going to tip left or right. Where are the bungee cables at? <laughs> I haven't seen any since we've been here. Can we jam some of these standing up next to it? That'd be a bad idea. What is that in the sky? Oh, is that a moon see? I'm looking at? Almost straight up. I could barely see it. Oh, that's the sun and the visors filtering out the UV. Oh my god, no, I see that. What the hell is that? Yeah. What? It's like in the cloud there? It must be a moon. Is that the Geosync satellite? I don't know, I can't tell. Huh. Definitely looks odd. Easy. 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 Watch your head. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, I was just coming the other side to put one in to try to stop it from doing that. I just didn't get here quick enough. Okay, well, we can finish this. I'm going to shut down the log and um, we'll get this thing full. Roger that. Yeah, you're not looking good, dude. <laughs> Roger, <let's> <laughs> the ramp is still open. Are you sure you can make it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm trying. I can see it. I mean, my suit's cracked, but I can still see it. I can't take a beating like the medium suit can. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing I can do to help you at the mo. You can make it. You can do it. I'm almost there. Look, he's in the Special Olympics. That's how it feels right now, right? Yeah, I mean, looks you like I was actually stabbed. That's yeah. how it looks like he was like shot or something. Yeah. Maybe you got that leg of one of those light things jammed in you. I think I I just put one in, and I think it came back and hit me and knocked me over. Wow. Okay. Retracting. Roger that. Hold on, buddy. 